I'm Chaz Hogan, Australian journalist here at the surprisingly modern Sportney Park Stolich, where we're just moments away from the Champions League third round qualifying tie between home side Olympia and Welsh club Bala Town. Upon arriving, Bala manager Ozzy Villan was quoted as saying, F*** me, this is nice. Who are we playing again? I hope their football isn't as good as their facilities. I'm Chaz Hogan, Lubav Zunanana. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to Season 7, Episode 2 of The Impossible Dream with Bala Town. And today we are playing Olympia Ljubljana uh, in the Champions League third qualifying round tie. A winner, of course, and we will go into the playoff round for the group stages. But I've got to say, I'm a little bit concerned about this club's facilities. If we go and have a quick look, I mean, you've seen the stadium uh, in the intro there with Chaz. But go and have a look at the facilities here. Not just that they've got a really nice looking stadium. They've got great training facilities, good analysis facilities, uh, sorry, good youth facilities, a good academy training and excellent youth recruitment. So I'm a little bit worried as to what we're walking into here. I didn't think this was going to be a difficult tie for us at all. Upon looking upon it uh, a little bit closer, I'm a little bit concerned now. But we are not the favourites for this one in the first leg, but we very rarely are in Europe. Um, that we do have a very, very good away record in uh, in these sorts of playoff games. So have a quick look at what we're up against here. We can see we don't uh, know too much about them because I don't have the Slovenian league loaded up. Um, we're expecting them to come out and play in this sort of 5-3-2 formation. I'm hoping if they do play that, we'll be able to overlap with wingers and fullbacks and and sort of get down, get to them down the uh, down the edges. This is a team we're sending out for the first leg, and it is as followed. Maurice has got a little bit of a knock, uh, but it's nothing too serious. He's wearing a protective arm. He's damaged his elbow or something. Damaged elbow, yeah. So he's wearing a protective sleeve. So hopefully it won't uh, benefit, it won't hurt us too much there. But Rima Miles goes in goal for this one. It's Burke, Gretison, Gosney, and Sears as the back four. York and new boy Murphy, of course. Quick reminder of him if we need to. He will move out to the left in this one. And we'll look to bring someone like McVeigh on. Uh, or maybe Lowry in midfield. Connolly, he holds his spot out on the right wing. He's done really well for us so far. It's Dixon and Maurice. And it is Michael Stewart up top. Again, best finisher at the club. We're needing to put some chances away here. So they aren't playing as we maybe expected them to, but this is okay. This is okay. It might be a little, a little bit more, less space in there for Dixon, but we'll just see how it goes. We'll just see how she goes, and hopefully we'll get some away goals here. I think we should encourage the team as what Gomez says. Come on, lads, keep our run going, I think. Some calm, we have faith, and we'll get out there. Uh, you haven't missed anything since last episode. The window is obviously, the transfer window is still open. We haven't uh, signed anybody Um I'm not. We do have one loan signing left. We can make. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not. At this point, I'm not even sure if we'll use it. To be honest, um, it's one of these. If a striker comes up that I think can be useful to us, um, then we might look to to do that. But otherwise, I'm really not expecting to do too much. Um, I'm relatively happy with the team as it is. We really need some away goals here if we can, please, boys. Um, I'm relatively happy with the squad as it is. Murphy's done really well to win that. Back for Dixon, for Connolly. What can the youngster do? Connolly goes in. Can he chop back onto his right foot? He can, but it's horrible. And that's uh, quite a disappointing into the highlight, really, wasn't it? Um, show some passion here, boys. Yes, one of these, if someone comes up, then we might look to do it. I don't think this Adam Maurice gamble's paying off, is it? He's not playing well. He's looking nervous. And I might not even wait till time to be honest. So let's get Duffy Thomas on, as a matter of fact. He can play out there uh, and see how he goes. Um, yeah, so the, it's a shame, actually. The Maurice Gamble didn't pay off. The other youngster, Sean Davies, is injured as well, which is why we didn't see him. I'm not happy with that, boys. Um, very, very quick uh, quick half, that, wasn't it? But, uh, yeah, I forget what I was saying. Oh, transfer window. Yeah, we may see something else. We may not. Uh, we're, we're in a position now, I think, where we can just kind of play it by ear and, and wait for something that's useful to us to come up. Otherwise... Uh, we might just leave it as it is for now. All right, let's look to work ball into the box here. Let's take it off, exploit the flanks. Let's see if that helps us out at all here. We really do want an away goal just to allow for a mistake at home. Um, but so far, we've not seen absolutely anything from us. Are we going to see a highlight in this game? Bork in there for the Slovenians. Can we win that? Not as of yet. Can we go in that? Oh, sliding in late. Couldn't quite get there. Come on, boys. Get a foot in. Get a foot in. No. Can we get to that? No, we cannot. Come on, boys. Pressure on. Put a foot in there. Can't win that back. Come on. We've got two men on one. Surely we can win this. He's up against the ropes, and we do win it back. Sears has it now. Can he get a ball forward? He does. It's early. It's not the best for Michael Stewart, and 
We're looking like a rushed, panicked team right now. Maybe we need to lower this tempo a little bit. We do win that, though, with York. Down for Dixon. Can Dixon spread play? He does. He finds Duffy Thomas. Thomas comes back on his right foot. It's Connolly, and Connolly's getting closer. That was a little bit better. Let's maybe take it. I don't, I don't know what to do. Um, that's what you want to hear your manager to say, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, let's try exploit the middle, look for overlaps. Um, uh, Connolly's not having a great game. We've got work to do here defending a free kick. Can we get that away? We can't. And a really, really good save from Rima Miles has kept us in the tie, perhaps. One goal, of course, wouldn't be end of the world, but we usually are quite good away from home and we struggle at home. Or is it we usually are good in the second leg? I guess maybe it could that could just as equally be the case. Um, we've, we've not looked good at all here, though, have we? Let's try a show some passion with 20 minutes to go. We're looking nervous, which is never a good sign. Can we win that? No, Connolly goes to close down. They just look as though it's all a little bit too simple for them right now, don't they? Can we get a foot in there? No. Man coming forward. I wonder if we want to actually close up the lines a little bit. Sears with a good header down there for Dixon. Dixon looks early for the run of Connolly. He's found him. Can Connolly find a teammate? There's no one in the box with him. He's got himself Connolly. With no option, we need to... I think we need to lower the tempo, perhaps. We need to not... Actually, no, let's not pass into space because that's not quite working for us. And I'm wondering if we need to just go and close up those lines. Just make it a little bit more difficult for them to, uh, to pass through the middle of us. Um, Thomas is looking nervous. Another highlight, 15 minutes to play. Can we get a foot in here? No. It should be a little bit more difficult for them to pass through us now with the lines closer together. But, I mean, they, they look as though they... Oh, there we go. They've loose pass there. Burke's picked it up. In there for Murphy. Murphy, there's a good pass for Connolly. Can he do it this time? It's off the post. It's right there. Almost an own goal. And it's hacked behind for a corner now. Can we get the lads up from the back? Good bits of quality here from Thomas into the box, please. And can we head ourselves in front? It's headed away. York is there. He can't quite win it back. We should get to that. Ends the highlight. Let's give it a demand more late on here. We're still looking nervous. Duffy Thomas has not had a good game um, playing up there on the left. So what can we do? We can... Connolly's had a poor game as well. So let's bring McVeigh on for Connolly. Switch them around. Put McVeigh in the middle for Murphy. And see if that works at all for us. Um, Connor Gosney's not had a particularly good game at the back either and looking nervous. Looks as though, unfortunately, we're going to be going back home tied at nil-nil. We did have the better of the game. We looked nervous the entire way through and that showed in our finishing as well, to be honest. I'm oh, not happy, boys. Not happy. So a nil-nil draw away from home. Murphy shines even as we fail to win. We're going to have to have a eight key passes. Well done to you, sir. We're going to have to have a serious think about what we want to do in this second leg. Uh, we do have a League Cup, a Welsh League Cup second round tie coming up in between games. I'll play through that, show you the highlights, uh, and then we'll try and win this tie at home. We have breaking news this evening out of Barla Town, and it's another major record-breaking transfer away from the club. Uh, for more on this story, we cross live now to the scene with Chaz Hogan. Uh, and Chaz, this is a major blow for Barla Town. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Nigel. Yeah, look, uh, August Freya Gretesen has left Bala for Derby County for £1.6 million, breaking the Welsh transfer record for a third time this window. Now, this is a massive blow to Bala manager Ozzy Villain, as the young Icelandic defender had just established himself in the first team. Back to you. So this just happened. The day after the uh, Champions League uh, game we just saw, uh, Brentford came in with a bid. It wasn't was it was like half a million, not even that. Gretelson kicked off. Um, I said if you got a, we got a bit of uh, whatever I said like eight hundred thousand, then we would uh, we'd sell him. Um, and clubs started coming in with the bids of a million. So yeah, Gretelson. It's a real shame he had just become our first choice centre back, uh, but he leaves the Derby County. It's a good fee, one point six million, fifty percent of any future fee as well. Um, so that's not a problem. It, I mean, it all helps the finances. Well. I, it's a big, big blow, though, because I really, really thought he was going to be one of our main defenders. We do, have, of course, have Michael Swift, who we also signed this season. So he can come in and, and sort of play in... I'm assuming he... Well, my plan is now he will now come in and be the first-choice defender next to Conor Gosney. We already have uh, Williams, who's unhappy at, at uh, the sale of uh, Henry Jones. We have Gosney, who's unhappy over concerns of being replaced by Gratterson. So I'm hoping that'll get rid of those concerns for him. 
Um, you can see a lot of the players were on my side uh, at... Well, they were initially on my side at... <laughs> <laughs> at not uh, not giving in to Gredison. Obviously, now we've sold him there against me because I have sold him. Um, so this could have ramifications, whatever that word is, ramifications beyond the fact that we've sold him. Um, it could be a real club killer. I'm concerned about this one. Okay, welcome back. We have the second leg coming up here. Not ideal preparation. In fact, I don't think we could have asked for a worse preparation. But before we get to this game, we do, of course, have to catch up on the Welsh League Cup second round uh, game against Ruthen. We had just lost the key player. The squad was unhappy. We had a newly promoted team away from home. How did we get on? We took a first half lead thanks to a KDH header. And we doubled our advantage moments later thanks to a Guto Kingsley stunner. Kieran Topley got his first file of goal after the break. Before Curtis Owen got a fourth late on. So there we go, I've got to say I feel much, much better about things after that one. We did of course have a, well not of course, but we did have a team meeting as well. Um, and that sort of boosted everybody's uh, morale up. Kieran Topley came in to play centre-back for this one. I did kind of, I wasn't sure he was going to be a centre-back or a midfielder when I signed him. Um, after that, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a centre-back for us. And certainly at least at league level, at domestic level, he, he did a really, really good job in this one. Plus he got the nice goal uh, from the free kick to, um, yeah, to... Uh, to get his tally underway for the club. But yeah, so that was him. Uh, Mullenthien came in, did a good job at left back. Um, I think he could be a really good player for us. Uh, and of course, uh, Owen Casey, the new striker we have on loan that I'm, I, I am seriously considering buying uh, at the end of the loan deal. Um, yeah, he ha he made his debut here and did quite well. Uh, Kingsley, of course, playing up in the left for the injured Maurice, came in, did a decent job. Uh, all in all, just as I said, a good solid game. And uh, Curtis Owen, of course, the youngster, got a goal for us as well. Um, so that was good. We're into the hat for the next round. We did get the draw. We have, who do we have? It is uh, Airbus uh, UK. I think we played them last year in a cup and we beat them quite comfortably. But that is not our concern right now. Our concern is getting through this tie and we didn't look good at all in that first leg. Unfortunately, we don't know still too much about them. We do have a data and nulls report from the first leg. Um, we're expecting them to play a similar sort of way. This is their heat map from that game. Uh, their passing network. And their key passes as well. We are going to try and prevent them a little bit more, I think, from trying to pass out from the back. Though typically we do that anyway. This is a team we're sending out and there are changes for this one. Uh, there's one change I didn't mean to make though. So uh, Reema Miles continues in goal. It's Burke. Swift comes in. We signed him and he was a good... I thought he was a good player when we signed him. He's now going to have to step in and fill the boots of uh, the now missing Gretelson. So let's hope he does a good job. He's got good positioning. He should be able to do it. Uh, Gosney, who is still unhappy... Despite the fact he's unhappy because he thought Gredison was coming in to replace him, he's now left the club, but he's still unhappy. That's a bit of a, a buggy thing. I really wish had uh, fixed itself. Um, but there we go. Sears will continue it right back. It's Lowry. Uh, Sam York is match fatigue for this one. Lowry can come in. He can do this position quite well for us. Let's hope he does. He's going to be partnering uh, McVeigh in midfield. Uh, now, the reason McVeigh is playing is, of course, Murphy moves out to the... If I can get rid of that. Murphy moves out to the left because Maurice, we saw last time, he wasn't fit. He didn't play well. So Murphy's going to play out there for us. It's going to be Duffy Thomas coming in to play on the right. He's technically a better player right now uh, than what Callum Connolly is. So we're going to go with uh, with the, the better player. Dixon continues as the number 10. Stewart continues as the striker. We do have Casey on the bench along with Davies if we need an out-and-out winger. Um, York's there as well, along with Williams, Mullerstein, and Reese Williams. Let's go. All right, so everybody's playing as they did first time around. Um, oh, I'm really a little bit nervous ahead of this one. Challenge the team to pick up where they left off. We were decent. We were decent against um, against Ruthen. Um, let's keep your run going, boys. Keep your run going. And away, see, this is the thing. An away, go, an away draw in Europe, in, in theory, is not a bad thing. The problem is that usually away from home is where we're better. Uh, so we don't have any away goals. We can't afford any mistakes. Um, and yeah, like I say, we've lost Gretison, which is not ideal. It's really not. I did have a quick look in the transfer market to see if, you know, if there's someone available we could replace him with. The closest we got was Dane Murray, who we did have last season, if you remember, the guy on loan from Celtic. But they want over eight. I think they want 800000 for him. Um, and given that we signed Michael Swift and he, he is a good player, I just don't think we necessarily need to go and spend the money unless it's someone who dramatically makes us better. I'm not sure Dane Murray does. I'm not sure he's dramatically better than Swift is. There's a good ball from there for Thomas getting forward. Duffy Thomas! 
Still, we cannot find the back of the net to save, is it? Well, Thomas did really well there. Good save drawn from the keeper. Ball in back post. It's missed by Swift. It was a good chance. He was unmarked as well. And that goes begging. Let's give it another get creative. Court cross comes in. It's there. Oh, it's just over the bar. Who was it this time? I missed who it was. They've changed their approach to be playing with more caution. And here we go. We've got a set piece to, or a throw in, sorry, to defend. We win that back with Swift. I don't like these on a booking. He's got that ball forward to nobody, unfortunately. Um, and I do wonder a little bit here if we're attack if we're trying to do a little bit too much. We might look to lower this tempo down a little bit, I think. Um, I wonder if we are just trying to pass a bit too quickly and we're not making sensible passes. Swift heads that down to McVay. McVay goes early there for Stewart. Can Stewart finish? It's a tight angle. He'll do brilliantly if he can. He pulls it back. It's Dixon, and we've got the goal. We've got the goal. Ewan Dixon with his fourth of the season. Michael Stewart did really, really well there. I am just going to lower down our tempo a little bit. Um, but that was excellent build-up play there by Michael Stewart, and Dixon late run into the box. McVay picked out the run perfectly. He did really well to stay on. So had two Northern Irish players combining well there. Stewart... Checked it back brilliantly. Sent two defenders flying. And Dixon, Johnny on the spot. Timed his run perfectly and tucked it away. So there we go. We are now 1-0 up in the tie. If we defend well, we're going into the next round. Into the playoff round. And now we've got a free kick to defend. This makes me a little bit nervous. We've got three bookings as well, which isn't great. What's his free kicks like? It's good. It's off the post. Can we clear it away? We can. Ryan Sears is there. And we just dodged that bullet. Let's go back to positive. I don't necessarily think we need to be attacking like crazy men now. We do hold the one goal lead at the break, though. That is absolutely massive. Boys, assertively, guard against complacency. Don't think this job is done. Connor Gosney, we've got faith in you, mate. We've got faith in you. That's why you're still at the club and Gredison's not. We've got an apprehensive-looking Duffy Thomas. Come on, mate. We need you to be good here. Let's tell Stewart to avoid a second booking. Let's tell McVeigh to avoid a second booking. And Michael Swift to avoid a second booking. Um, yeah, I'm wondering, do we bring Reese Williams on to get rid of that booking? McVeigh in midfield, we could bring Dan Williams on. But we've seen him get sent off in Europe, I think, each of the last two seasons, haven't we? So that's not something I necessarily want to do. Um, Casey for Stewart might be a sensible one up top. Uh, with Casey sort of better team play, that might be something. Here we go. If we can get a second goal, it allows us a mistake. Another ball to the back post. Swift picks it up again. Swift loses out. Are we going to get to that? Swift is going to get the <laughs> get the his own clearance. Burke infield there for Freddie Sears. That's no, Ryan Sears. And there it is for Murphy. Block. Murphy again. It's off the post and there's no one there. Oh, unlucky. Really, really unlucky. We've got the throw in though. Here we go with Sears. In for McVeigh. McVay, Freddie Sears, a very, or Ryan Sears, I should say, a very, very lungy tackle. Lowry has at the edge of the area. Good ball out there to find Burke. Can Burke pick a teammate out? Burke, he does. It's there. It's Dixon. Dixon has a second. The captain has come up big when we needed him. Fifth goal now already for Ewan Dixon. And that is 2-0 now to Barla Town. And that should hopefully be that. We don't want, obviously, if they get one goal, then they're just a goal away from breaking your heart. It's a really good finish again from Dixon. Just in the right spot at the right time. And that's what you want from your captain, an on-field leader. And we've got that in Ewan Dixon. Let's give him some praise. Uh, let's get rid of some of these bookings, I think. Let's get Dan Williams on for McVeigh. Let's get Owen Casey on for Stewart. We'll make those changes. A first look on the channel, of course, at Owen Casey as well here. Let's give it another concentrate. The slower tempo really does seem to have worked, doesn't it? I think we were just trying to do a little bit too much, a little bit too quickly. And we're letting ourselves down. Thomas, good ball. Gosney's there. Connor Gosney gets himself a goal. And that now is surely that. With nine minutes to play, we're 3-0 up. Duffy Thomas with an assist. His first uh, meaningful contribution in a Bala shirt. Cracking header from Connor Gosney. Put on an absolute plate for him by Duffy Thomas. And that is... We can breathe a little bit easier now. Uh, excellent stuff, boys. Let's give them some praise. Heart attacks in the first leg, but when it really needed it, we had second leg masters, it turns out. It's not playing away from home. It's just the second leg. When everything's on the line, we just have that little bit of extra ability to step up and uh, perform on the big stage. Sears nicks it there for Gosney, for Dan Williams. Dan Williams gets it forward for Duffy Thomas. Can he find Casey in the middle? Be good to get one of these guys on the score sheet. He does brilliantly well. Oh, unlucky. Well defended. Credit where it's due. Murphy has it now. Across there for Burke. 
Murphy again. Murphy crosses it in. It's heathered away. Can we get to that? Dan Williams is there. This is good pressure. Ryan Sears has it now. Down the line for Duffy Thomas. Thomas crosses it in. Murphy. Oh, penalty. Stonewall penalty. Dixon for the hat trick. I'm tempted to let one of the guys, like uh, Casey, take it for his first goal. Dixon, though. And that's the hat trick. The captain of the club. What a player he is looking to be for us. He is, of course, one of our own. And that is 4-0. And we have run riot in the second leg. Well, the second half of the second leg, really. It was not. Uh, it was a tight game up until half time. Just the one goal in it. And second half, we've destroyed them. And that is us into the playoff round. One tie away from getting back into the Champions League group stages. And given all that happened between those two ties, I'm really, really happy with that, boys. That's brilliant. Swift came in as well, dealing at the back, looked assured. Uh, we didn't give away too many chances. And it is Baal, or Basel, however you say it, in the playoff round. Now, they are a very good team, aren't they? Uh, they're a, a team with very good European pedigree. Um, and apart from Red Bull Salzburg, I'm going to say possibly the worst draw we could have got. Uh, let's have a look and see what we're up against. This will, of course, be next episode. Basel home and away. Um, not tactics. We want to look at... Um, the players they have essentially a full squad of players. The goalkeeper looks good, and I don't know if we want to see any more. Um, who's their strikers here? Ademi, uh, twenty-nine year old. Good look at that jumping reach. Although we have we have decent enough defenders in the air now as well. So this is going to be a tough game for us. Let me know what you think in the comments. Can we get the better of the of the Swiss champions? Worst case scenario though now, what a performance that was from Dixon. Um, we are in the Europa League group stages and given the money that we've made from uh, transfers this year, I'm going to say that we'll be, we'll be fine this, this season in terms of money. We know we've got at least a guaranteed two and a half million coming as well. Uh, look at that. We've got more money in the, to spend on uh, transfers than we do on uh, in the bank. But yeah, again, let me know think in the comments too. The Gredison sale, was it the right thing to do? I think the fact that he was unhappy, I think he did have to leave. Um, and I'm relatively happy with the fee. Do we need to replace him, or are we okay going with... <sighs> We've have... right, still got Reese Williams, who's a good player in the league. We've got Connor Gosney. Hopefully, he'll get rid of his unhappiness soon. KDH, who we... maybe he plays a bigger role this year than initially expected. Swifty. Um, we signed him for a reason, didn't we? Potentially a five-star player. And the other guy... Uh, well, I mean, Ryan Sears can fill in at centre-back. Um, and of course the other guy is Kieran Topley, who, as I said, heading direction isn't great, but everything else about him there says a decent enough for playing centre-back. So let me know what you think. Do we need to try and spend, it's big money we need to spend, we'd be looking at a million pounds or thereabouts, or are we okay to get by with what we have for now? Maybe if we get into the Champions League group stage, that determines that with that extra money, doesn't it? Anyway, guys, I'm rambling on. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back next time for Basel Home and Away. I've been Ozzy Bell. Thank you for watching. Take care.